the Liberals have sworn that they will not buy F-35 fighter jets to replace our aging fleet of CF-18 jets, which are older than most of the pilots who fly them. Who knows if the Liberals will ever buy replacements? Jean Chrétien's Liberals canceled the replacements for our aging Sea King helicopters in 1993. That's more than 20 years ago. And the replacements have just started to arrive this year. I think it's safe to say the Liberals will not be replacing the CF-18s. I mean, why would they? If they don't plan on using them, even in small numbers, even in a relatively safe mission, six CF-18s attacking Islamic State terrorists as part of a larger NATO coalition. If we won't use them there, when would we ever use them? I mean, it's just about old men pretending that they're macho, right? Why aren't we talking more about the kind of humanitarian aid that Canada can and must be engaged in, rather than, you know, trying to whip out our CF-18s and show them how big they are? But once a year, the Liberals love the military. I swear they really do on Remembrance Day. I mean, here's the proof. It's the Liberal Party's official Remembrance Day website. Look at how hard they celebrate Remembrance Day, how passionately. They have a whole special website to do so with a whole sentence. Thank the members of Canada's Armed Forces and Canada's veterans, after which they say to give them your name and address to add to the Liberal Party's political database. And look there in the top right corner, a bright green donation button. So the Liberal Party doesn't have a lot of time for soldiers or even for military equipment. They generally think military things are yucky. But once a year, they show they care by fundraising off the backs of veterans. Fundraising for themselves, not for the veterans. Yeah, liberal's gonna liberal. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.